Bow, weep, grind, now, weep, ninny bong. And welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. I want to say a big thanks to everybody who's been watching my videos so far. Um, still fairly new to this, so thank you all very much for the support I've seen. And to all my new subscribers as well, thank you very much. Welcome to the channel. Um, this is going to be another news update. As we know, New York Toy Fair is in full swing. Oh my lord. We've not even got to the... Uh, Re the reveal that Hasbro is planning for later on today actually and already thanks to the guys at Walmart and other places like Smith's Toys uh, websites going up and live we have had leak after leak after leak I really hope there's still stuff for them to show us during the uh, the Hasbro section that we'll all get to see later on today but of course I'm gonna here to show you all the things that have come out of New York Toy Fair so far and there's some great ones there's some interesting choices as well uh, but definitely um, lots and lots of hype and things to get excited for from the Transformers universe um, so first of all I want to show you all you guys all this uh, these pictures have been floating around the internet this is actually from inside the comic convention itself. In my last video, one of the main topics I spoke about, well, two of the main topics actually, RC and Scorpionark. So you can see here on this picture, Scorpionark with RC in its clutches. And you can see this is not a CG render. This is the main event himself, Scorpionark clutching RC. So we can see now, we can see the size of Scorpionark. Uh, versus um, the RC, which I believe is going to be a Geolux size. So he's a big, big bot. Um, a lot of people saying he's a lot of retooling from the Omega Supreme. So we're hoping he's going to be a similar size to the Omega Supreme or Fort Max. Um, but yeah, he's, he's huge. I'm excited. I'm probably gonna drop a pre-order on this guy today i know the pre-orders in the uk go live at nine o'clock uh unfortunately i'm going to watch baby metal at that time so uh unless there's a bit of a lull in the set and i can get a sneaky pre-order in in between a few songs where i buy baby metal tonight but um yeah looking at this guy looking awesome um yeah i can't wait to have this guy in my collection then uh, we move on to something that's a bit of a, a surprise. There is more to come from the Siege line. So I'm not going to show all the reissues that are around. But I'm just going to show you some of the more interesting reissues that are recolors or um, something a little bit different. So this first one is uh, the Reflector remodel or a reissue uh, in the new color scheme. To me, this, this screams Perceptor. This screams that we're gonna get a, a Reflector remodel of uh, Perceptor. He's still called Reflector or Refractor or whichever one it is on the website when you look at the list. But for me, I think this is gonna drop as Perceptor. What do you guys think uh, down in the comments? Let me know, are you gonna pick this guy up? I, have, I still haven't picked this up. I plan on picking up the the three that you can get um the spy uh one that you the spy box that you can get with all three in um that's come down to i've seen that for places now in the uk for around 50 pounds in the uk so that's fantastic but i may pick this guy up on his own uh, i'm not a big fan i've got to say of the alt mode of this one um on its own i think it's a bit naff um, but together they all look good. It'd be interesting to see if this guy has a, a different type of alt mode, but we shall see. We then move on to this silver version of Megs. Um, so the Siege version of Megatron done in a more silver paint. Uh, and he's also going to come with two weaponizers. So that's where he's going to be. This one's probably going to boost this one up to around the maybe 60, 70 dollar, 50, 60 pound mark, similar to the one with the Skywarp pack that we got. Uh, the Skywarp pack also looks like it's gonna get a reissue, uh, which is 
great because they can't find that cheap anywhere at the moment and i personally i'm looking for that at the moment so that's good uh then we get this recolor of mirage uh mirage as we all know um there's always a can you trust mirage type thing around the character himself and this is him actually in decepticon um outfit so what do you think about this guys do you think mirage this is from an episode of the tv series where mirage pretends to be a decepticon is he going to start off as a decepticon in the program and then turn into an autobot or is he going to start off as an autobot and then become a decepticon i uh, really like to know your theories around this one i think this is pretty cool i'm probably i've, I've got a mirage already i'm probably going to pick this guy up just because it's a bit of a bit of an odd one um yeah really looking forward to, to seeing how this one works out again not a big fan of the alt mode on this guy but this the, the robot mode i'm a big fan of and I think that this looks like a really cool uh, bot mode. Then there's this little secret pack here, which is just called, at the moment it just says War for Cybertron. It does say inside on, on the, the writing. It says things like spoilers inside for the Netflix TV show. So I'm quite interested to see what's inside that box. Um, definitely something that I think I will be be picking up just to find out what's inside it um really because i'm i really can't wait for the, for the tv series so some interesting um siege reissues and things like that there um siege is still obviously alive and kicking and we're gonna get some reissues some remodels some repaints coming uh yeah let me know in the comments what are you excited about from this line what is what is really uh making you thinking you might dip back in there then we've had quite a lot of leaks for the earthrise line so you can see here we have uh the micromasters there at the top um then all the deluxes that have leaked so extra deluxes you can see we've got a blue streak coming now an rc um an airway uh then we've also got the Alicom Trailbreaker, uh, Sun Street there as well. And then when you look at the leader class, you've got the Double Dealer that's come in. Uh, Voyager, uh, it says it's been confirmed. Now we are going to get Snapdragon, Megatron again, uh, the Quintesson. And then, of course, we've got the Commander Class Skylinks. And then we've also got the, the Fan Vote one as well. So some really cool characters coming. So when we look at Double Dealer, now you can see Double Dealer in his bot mode. Uh, this is looking pretty good. I think this is going to be a leader class from what I can make out. Um, or is this one commander class I, I'm, I'm not sure i'd have to oh i can have a look right here so this one is no this one is a leader class so this one's going to be a leader class so this one i think is going to be a big bot i don't think this is going to be similar to the prime and the astro train um where you get a lot of accessories that make this guy work i think this is going to be a big bot so there, there he is with his bird mode and then he also has his truck with shuttle type mode he also turns into a little bit of a uh of a base type mode which again everything turns into a bit of a base mode on this but yeah i'll be picking this guy up he looks pretty cool nice little bot um, then we move on to airway um, airway can transform into multiple different things so this is I think this is the Decepticon version of um, Ironworks so this is what's on the Decepticon side of Ironworks um, color wise it's funny he looks he looks like more like Autobot colors to me but um, I've been led to believe that this guy is uh, a decepticon um yeah 
I have I can take all lead. This guy's obviously going to be a parts former. Um, he's mainly there for the MicroMasters. I'm not a MicroMaster collector. Uh, if I do get this guy, he's really going to be there for me to review for the channel. And I'll, I would keep him in robot mode. And then uh, if, he's a, if he's a nice enough bot. Uh, but the, the, the alt modes here don't really interest me. Um, I'm not a, a, bit, a huge MicroMaster collector uh, if you are nice one if you're a completionist and um, there's a lot to complete i guess but you, I, it's not something that really interests me too much uh, then we get to what for me has been the saddest reveal of this i was really 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 looking forward to uh the quintesson drop and seeing what could they do because obviously this was always going to transform and what can they do to make this transform and what do we get uh we got this what on earth is this hasbro oh this is yeah they could have done something really interesting with the judge you know it could have turned into some kind of maybe helicopter it could have turned up it turned into some kind of maybe it was a, a it combined with the alicon and i'm sure we'll get a shark to come further down the line to create um a, uh, a combiner or could it have just done something you know but this i i'm sure it's just a, it's just some kind of very crazy bot mode uh base mode yeah I will transform this once when I review. I will get this because I'm sure that the, the bot mode on this is going to be fantastic. Um, looking at some of the other scans that I've seen of that. Alt mode, never, ever, ever will I transform this apart from when I review it on the channel. This is not something that I'm interested in. Um, Hasbro, I really wish you'd have either just not made it transform or just made it a bit more original. But that's where we are with that. <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time I look at it. But staying on the planet Quintesson, the Alicon. Oh my goodness. Take my money. Take my money right now. This is another guy that I will be putting my money down tonight on a pre-order for this guy. Look at the bot mode on that. I'm a huge G1, huge movie fan. Uh, this is something that I would never have thought Hasbro would have made. I can remember as long as I can even remember wanting uh, an Alicon looking like this. And he looks fantastic. Um, hyped for this. Alt mode on this guy is also looking pretty good. You can see how the alt mode's going to work. It's not going to be the most difficult of transformations um i'm hoping that similar to in the movie we can get these guys to, to sit a little lower he looks quite high for an alicon but oh oh god yes 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 um size on this guy you know the alicon is actually uh gonna be a deluxe size so pretty nice price point on this guy if you want to do a little bit of army building i probably will get more than one i would imagine i'll get at least two of these guys to do a little bit of an army build uh, maybe they'll do some different colors some different ideas for this one but i'm hyped for this guy um this is this has got me really hyped when i heard that they were doing an alicom i was hyped about it now looking at it and especially looking at that bot mode wow i, I cannot wait um, so they're the, the, the main topics from Earthrise that I wanted to cover for my channel. These are certainly the ones that I will be reviewing. But then on a sort of second note, there has been a, uh, a conference call with investors and the uh, Hasbro. And they have actually seen a trailer for the War for Cybertron trilogy. Um, really hyped to see this myself i know today is probably the day when we're actually going to see the full trailer so i'll do a little bit of a review of the trailer i think when we see it i'm excited for this um if the toys are anything to go by the storyline looks like it's following some g1 movie type thing as well updated huge um fantastic interesting characters 
will start on Cybertron, maybe for season one, season two, end up on Earth, maybe. I'm really excited. Very excited to see what they do with this. Really excited to see what the animation is like. For me, um, you know, the, the Titans one and the other things that we've had with the Mashima stuff, it's been okay, but I'm not a big fan of that that CGI style too much. Um, it'll be interesting to see Net Netflix money behind it. I know it's a, it's the same studio, I believe, that have done some of the other ones, so maybe it won't be too far outside of that. But I hope that there's it's if it is CGI, it, they, they've spent a lot of money on it, and it looks it looks good to support what for me is a fantastic um, toy line. And I just really hope that we can get a cartoon anime type thing to support this fantastic um, toy line as well. So let me down, know down in the comments your thoughts on everything that you've seen here. Um, hyped for tonight to see what else Hasbro are going to release and also to see the War for Cybertron trilogy. Uh, let me know, do you think we've seen everything from Hasbro Transformers? Do you think there's going to be any more surprises today? Um, if you like what I'm doing around here, uh, like, share, subscribe to the channel and then I will see you in the next video. Nice one. See you later in a bit. Bye.